Okay, we're going to do a simple cable calculation using cable calcs in Solutions Electrical Software. Okay, first off we'll choose our phases or number of phases. In this case we'll use one single phase. So, simply give our cable an ID. It could be a number or a name. Call it whatever you like. In our case I'll call it mains. Okay, you can have some additional info in here as well. Okay, I'll call this office. Alright, carrying on down further. The cable type, conductor type, are we going to use copper or aluminium? Alright, we'll just stick with the copper. The voltage, 230 volts, permissible voltage drop on this particular circuit is 2.5%. Alright, the length of our cable run, we'll make that 47 metres. Okay, a D rating factor of 1. Alright, up further, the load in kilowatts or amps, we'll select say 87 amps. A cable type, we'll choose XLPE. Will it be singles or multi-core? I would imagine in this case we'll use singles. Okay, how will the cable be installed? Will it be above earth, space touching and conduit or partially insulated? Options of buried direct, buried direct below ground or buried enclosed in conduit. And also have the option of aerial cables. With ours we'll select partially insulated go through some ceilings and wall cavities. Okay, that's all the information that the program needs to calculate the size of the cable. So we just go over here and click calculate. Okay. We've been given a 35 mil squared cable. That's rated at 120 amps. A voltage drop of 5.29 volts at 2.3%. The cable is derated to 120 amps because it'll be running on its own. Maximum length of run here is 51 metres. You'll see we've selected 47 metres over here. Okay, running at the 87 amps full load. Okay. The fault level of 5,005 amps. That's the current that the conductor will actually handle under fault conditions for one second before the insulation will actually break down. Okay. The running temperature at full load will be 66.3 degrees C. The circuit breaker chosen is 100 amps. Okay, from here we can also go on and calculate our earth loop impedance. So we'll just click on this one. Okay, you'll see up here it's given us our 35 mil cable, one core, one core in parallel. Okay, to choose our sort of protection we're using, we will use a circuit breaker, type C circuit breaker, with a trip time of 0.4 seconds. It's given us one fault conductor in parallel and that size happens to be 10 mil squared and copper of course. Okay, 47 meters is the length of our run. So that's all the information this needs as well. We'll just calculate on here. Now all your results are displayed on this page. Maximum length of run. But we can also close this page out. And those same details will be relayed down here below the cable calculation result. And that's how easy it is.